It was announced today, 21st of February 2024, that URA has awarded the tender for the site at Orchard Boulevard to the highest tenderer, United Venture Development. The UOL Group Singapore Land Joint Venture had submitted the top bid for the Orchard Boulevard site with a $428.3 million bid that valued the District 10 residential parcel at $1617 PSF PPR. When the tender for the site closed on 1st February, offers were lower by 30 to 40 percent than a Cuscadden Road state land lot that was sold in 2018 at $2377 PSF PPR. That plot is where the current Cuscadden Reserve sits. Hence, with that reference, some of us were wondering whether the Orchard Boulevard plot will be awarded. This is especially so because in another widely watched government land sales tender, the sole bid for plot in Marina Gardens Crescent has been rejected by URA earlier this month as too low. Well, now that it is awarded, it is indeed good news for investors eyeing the Orchard Boulevard site due to its excellent convenience right next to the Orchard Boulevard MRT. Not many people are aware that one of the tender conditions is for the developer to build a public park adjacent to the land. Besides being next to the very important Thompson East Coast MRT line, it is also near the top tier, Chatsworth GCB Enclave, and in very close proximity to Tanglin Mall and Botanic Gardens. The market expects the break-even cost for this Orchard Boulevard project to be in the range of $2,500 to $2,900 PSF and for C selling prices of $3,200 to $3,500 PSF when it launches around early 2025. Well, I am definitely excited about this piece of news. And for buyers who are looking for something that has already been completed, I have 19 Nasim, which is also located near Tanglin Mall and is around three to five minutes walk to Neppia, MRT station and Botanic Gardens. The quality is superb and the Nasim address is almost unbeatable. Please reach out to me as soon as possible because units are selling very fast. I am personally bullish on CCR in the coming years, especially when the gap between RCR and CCR prices are narrowing. CCR has historically maintained a certain premium over RCR prices, which I can elaborate when we meet. The concern that foreigners' demand could be affected by the hefty buyer's stamp duty should not cloud your vision as an investor. I believe local and Singapore PR buyers are sharp and discerning enough to spot quality good buys in CCR. Do reach out to me to identify some of these choices as I have been active in these areas since 2005 and would be able to share insights on the different tiers of CCR. All right, that's all for this update. My name is PK So from Huttons and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.